John, as one of the nation's leading property professionals, how do you feel about the, uh, the push for the industry moving towards a professional? And where do you see the industry um, fitting in with the consumer's expectation and what's in it for the consumer? Well, John, a few things. I think it's really exciting because I think as an industry, so many of the participants, this is a career choice and they're in it for life. And on the other side, the stakeholders that are benefiting from what we do, be it leasing or selling to, to people and for people, it's a very big decision and it's fraught with all sorts of emotion and stress and tension. And I think all stakeholders, buyers, sellers, tenants, landlords, deserve the very best of professional standards. And I think, you know, what the institutes are now doing are regarding, you know, education and insisting on higher standards and helping the industry sort of evolve to the next level is not only exciting, but I think it's actually potentially overdue but critical to the future of the, the industry. Because with technology coming in, in fact, one of the things I'm going to be talking about today in the session, with technology coming in, I don't see it as disintermediating agents as such. I think the commodity agents that are not adding great value, that are not at the highest professional standards, they are at real risk of being replaced by technology or sort of low service um, alternatives. I think the agents that have high standards that are adding massive value, that are true masters of their art, um, which is I think where this professional uh, standards will take them, those people have got an incredibly exciting future. So I think it's really important that, that all agents really embrace this because there is no alternative. You're either getting on the bandwagon of high professional standards and being the best of the best, or I think you will end up being commoditized and then out of the industry. So I think it's fantastic what the institutes are doing and, and I applaud you and the, and the board because I, I know it was a big initiative and it's taken a lot of work to get it to this point, but I have no doubt that not only are the agents going to benefit, but of course, more importantly, I think the consumers, yeah. the, end, the end users of our product or our service, tenants, landlords, buyers and sellers, I think they will be huge beneficiaries, which from a community social point of view, I think is really exciting. And you mentioned community, and that's an interesting dynamic that we've learned along this journey, is that our primary responsibility being a professional is to the community. And I think that's something that, that it'll take a little bit of uh, energy and effort for people to understand the difference. And it's almost that everything you do as a professional is for the benefit of the community. And, yeah. and therefore, you're not, you're not treating anyone differently. No, exactly right, John. And I think that I always say internally to our team is, you know, we don't sell houses, we actually help build communities. And a community is really, it's not just buildings, in fact, it's not buildings, it's the people that inhabit them and the people that work in the workspaces. And we move people in and out of those situations all the time. So I think that, you know, there is really a great commercial gain to be had. There's no doubt the better agents will grow their businesses and benefit from in a financial perspective. But I think the other thing, and, and again, I, th I think more importantly, is that people are going to uh, um, improve the lives of, of all the tenants, all the landlords, people that are going through this often arduous process of buying, selling, moving. And I think with our standards and, and uh, us doing a better job, everyone's going to benefit. So I think it's it's win-win all around. Absolutely agree. Yeah, it's interesting the uh, the shift that's going to occur and, and you mentioned about, you know, will people be ready? Will they be able to do it? I think there will be two quite distinct agents. There will be the property professional and there will be the agent. Ultimately, it'll be a matter of survival. You know, there's a process-driven, um, uh, so I suppose, disruption happening to the industry. Mm -hmm. And I see that as a distraction. It's, it's keeping us away from what we need to focus on, which is just doing a better job. Yeah, and John, I, I often say again to our franchise, in our group and our agents. You know, I don't think um, the technology or the internet is, is really what they should be afraid of. In fact, I think they should be embracing yeah, all means. It's an enabler. What's the greatest issue for our industry is complacency and people that don't change. You know, there are a lot of dinosaur agents out there, as we know, and, and I think that they have the choice of getting out of the industry or upgrading their standards. And I hope as many of them do upgrade because it is a great industry and a lot of people put a lot of years to get this far. But you can't sit there and think, well, we used to do it that way for 10 years or five years or even two years. I think right now there are so many things in society changing and expectations are changing. So, you know, technology that may or may not affect the real estate industry, if people are using it and they're getting a better experience elsewhere, and we had Uber recently and we saw what happened to, you know, a centuries old industry called, you know, cab driving and taxi driving, and then Uber comes along and then everything changes in an instant. Well, I think in the real estate industry, you know, it's going to be the same thing that you've got to get on and say, what are the standards? What does the customer want? What does the consumer expect? And deliver it and even over deliver it if you can.
Well, that's what it's all about in terms of disruption, the stickiness or the friction involved in a transaction. And when I look at what we do as a collective, there's a lot of friction. And the reality is that when you have a professional person who's providing the best possible advice, great experiences and great results, the friction goes away because they're actually the solution. Yeah. I, I'll talk about Chris Foss today from ARIC, you know, the yeah. hostage yeah. negotiator. He summed it up so perfectly in my view in terms of where we sit in the trust business yeah. in that the, we're the solution. You know, yes. and, and if you're a professional and you know what you're doing, you know your product, you know your people, you know the whole way that you need to provide that service, the friction goes away and trust gets, is put in place. Yeah, and trusted advisor is exactly the energy I think our industry needs to bring. And of course, we've had doctors and accountants and lawyers that have often been seen, you know, somewhat in that space. And then agents have often been seen as salespeople, mm. which, you know, we are. That's, and I'm not ashamed to say that selling and, and having a craft of being a good salesman is, is certainly an admirable one. But, you know, we have to be trusted advisors where what we say, you can take it to the bank. It's, you know, it's been well, well researched. And I think there's been too much winging it in the past. And I think that's one of the things the industry's got to stop. You know, we now have to be better researched and better organised. Yeah, I think the time's are right. It's interesting we've been talking about this should have happened five years ago. You know what, five years ago, I think the industry was actually ready for it. Mm. I think it is now. And, uh, and this will be something that I, I see turning into a movement. You know, you, you, we'll, we'll be starting with the thought leaders, we'll be bringing the younger agents in, and I've the view that quite uh, quickly, the middle will be squeezed, uh, and it'll be a choice that people have to make. And really appreciate your, your uh, participation today, John, and also your, your commitment to this. It, it, it's fantastic, and we're looking forward to moving ahead uh, with a rapid pace. Thanks, John. Great, thanks, mate.